Welcome to this week's edition of 96 Questions with Brian Robinson. That's me. Let's go. I'm glad that you uh, agreed to this sit-down interview we have. Teddy, if you had to pick one person on the team that would be the worst best man in your wedding, who would it be? The worst best man? I say Captain. Why Captain? Ever since I met Captain, he's been a bad influence on my life. He's a great teammate, but a bad influence on my life. Like, what kind of influences? <laughs> um, you know, we uh, we just we argue all the time. Yeah. So, in other words, no comment. Yeah, no comment. Okay, got gotcha. you. If you had to pick one guy on this team that would make the absolute worst best man in your wedding, who would it be? Diggs. Why Diggs? Because you know he wouldn't throw you a party. He'd be selfish. You know he would. Uh, he probably throw a party for himself and not invite you. So he would throw the bachelor party, but it would be for for him and not for the groom. Yeah, I think he'd definitely be the worst. Mike Wallace. If you had to pick one guy on this team that would make the worst best man in a wedding, who would it be? Probably Stephon Diggs. Why Diggs? He's just like he's not loyal. I don't think he's. I don't think he's loyal. I think he's all in for himself. I don't think he cares about anybody. And you got to watch your wife around him. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. You are the second guy that has said, and legitimately, the second guy that has said digs. And then when I asked why, pretty much the same thing. It'd be about one. himself. Yeah. You, you know. I'm, he's gonna think it's his wedding. Like you know, he's gonna get in there and he's gonna think he's the groom. He's gonna have the rings. Like you're not even getting married. Like, what he's doing? gonna throw the party and not invite you. You know, it's gonna be his party. He's gonna be his bachelor party. Like. He's not even your wedding, like, he's selfish. And I, I mean, I better like being in a wide receiver room with him, so let alone a wedding. I'm not going to name any names because that's not my job, but Mike Wallace and Adam Thielen said that you would be the selfish guy. You would be the one. I'm just saying one guy said you would throw the bachelor party, but you wouldn't invite the groom. I'm just, hey, I'm just throwing these things out there. All right, well, look here, man. I'm all about being a team guy, you know? And when you have like a brother, somebody you don't really love and care for, I'll put all on, all on the line for him, you know? Terrell. That's probably rude of me. Uh, Terrell, if you had to pick one guy on this team that would make the worst best man in your wedding, who would it be? <laughs> um, does he have to be a player? Does he have to be a coach? Who would make the worst best man on this team? North Turner. Why Why North Turner? He'll probably make fun of me and not even invite me to my own wedding. The best man doesn't invite the groom to his wedding. I, he would probably do that. That's all. I, uh, <laughs> I just saw uh, that will be him. Okay, good answer. Sharif, if you had to pick one guy on the team that would make the worst best man in your wedding, who would it be? Chad Greenway. Why Chad Greenway? Doesn't play nice with others. <laughs> Do you have any examples of like how he wouldn't play nice with others? Um, if I allowed him to dance with my mother, you know, during a, a slow dance, he'd probably spin her until she fell asleep. Yes, you're not going to use mine. It sucks, doesn't it? Actually, we'll probably just use it because of what you just said. <laughs> but we won't use that. I want to thank you fans again for joining us this week on 96 Questions. Uh, once again, if you if you have a question, please keep sending those in to Twitter, at Brian underscore Robinson. And I'll make sure to look through those and try to get a question. As for me, who I think would make the worst best man on this team, I'm going to go with Sharif Floyd. Um, you know, Sharif's been a guy who's been known to destroy bathrooms with his back end. I feel like he would do the same thing at a nice fancy hotel or a possible manor. Um, and I, you know, the thing about him is, is he's just so disrespectful with it. I feel like you'd be dancing on the dance floor, you smell a foul smell, immediately you know it's Reef. So um, to me, that that's, that's the end all be all for me. And in case you were wondering, uh, Anton Exum, AKA I Am Swag, uh, he's really been slacking coming on the show um, I really think you guys should you know get a hold of him on Twitter uh, send him some hate messages 
and uh, let him know that y'all do not appreciate him not showing up on 96 Questions. Thank you. <laughs>